Hi, and welcome back to Master Slider free version video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a slider. To do so, I choose the master slider from the main menu. On this page, I click on create new slider. Then in the pop-up window, I choose the custom slider and I click on create. So our slider is set, but we haven't put our pictures in the slider yet. To do so, I click on add slide and then I choose my pictures from the gallery via media library. I'll wait a few moments for the pictures to be uploaded. When the slides are uploaded, I click on create slides and the pictures will show up in the slider. After choosing the pictures for the slider, I click on preview at the bottom of the page to get a hint of how my slider looks like. Well, next, to save my slider, I choose a name for my slider from the Slider Settings tab. Then, I click on Save Changes. Then, I choose the master slider from the main menu again. As you can see on this page, my slider is visible. Here, I have access to the short code. And I could duplicate, delete, or preview my slider from this section. But to create a slider, I have other options as well. To do so, I click on Create New Slider. And in this section, I could choose some sample sliders, each of them equipped with certain features and interfaces. For instance, I choose Slider with Vertical Thumbnails and I click on create. Well, as you have seen, the pictures were automatically imported and to get a sense of what this slider looks like, I click on preview. As you can see, this slider consists of controllers such as thumbnails, arrows and bullets. And we'll get to that in our next video shortly. 